What's up my YouTube friends? It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and Airbnb Superhost. On this episode, I wanna to talk to you about some entrepreneurial lessons that I've learned, some risks that I took, and sort of the result. The first thing I wanna announce is that the STRU store is closing down. It could be forever, it could be temporary, but that's not the announcement, that's not even the point of the video. I implore many of you to connect with your why, that's a great place to start. And then I implore many of you to take risks and I say that failure is okay. So if we fast forward maybe two years ago or so, I had a real problem with same day turnover. It turned out that my dryer was a bottleneck and we could never change enough sheets. And even though we have plenty of sheets and so the beds were made, the dryer would still be running or my maids had to take wet sheets back to their place and then deliver them. And the whole thing was a mess and it got me thinking, you know, I'm wearing Lululemon activewear shirt right now it dries quickly and there's all this new dry quickly technology, maybe there'd be something that could dry quickly on the bedding and the towel side and so my dryer could keep up with my washing machine and make my same day turnovers and my cleaner's life better. Lo and behold, when you search and you find something and you pro solve a problem, it was there. So I contacted the wholesaler, I generated a new business line and uh, opened up a wholesale division with them and started taking orders. I, at first I started taking them in smaller quantities and shipping them to my apartment. And Charles, God bless him, was helping me with the fulfillment and we'd box them up and we'd ship them out. And we have all these photos of like, every day we were going to the post office and dropping off boxes. The business was growing and it was going really well and it was profitable and hosts were really pleased with it and cleaners were pleased with it. And so Charles and I sat down and said, all right, well look, you know, we have a product, it's got proven demand, we use it, we swear by it. I mean, I've put it into all of my different rentals, so I believe in the product. And we said, we gotta scale this thing. Like right now it's kind of meaningless, it takes a lot of our time, uh, we're not getting it to enough people, we don't have enough inventory. So we decided to take it to the next step and we went out and we found a wholesaler, somebody who's gonna do the fulfillment for us. Somebody who had a warehouse and they were gonna have pallets of this merchandise and they were gonna shrink wrap it and mail it out and all of that and we ordered all this inventory and we sent it to them and we were really excited about it. And as often is the case, the relationship started really well. Go forward a little bit and I think that the rate of adoption, the speed of the growth that we anticipated wasn't quite as great and therefore probably the wholesaler wasn't quite as happy. And at the same time, we expanded onto Amazon because I wanted to do Fulfilled by Amazon, um, Amazon FBA and things were going fine you know we weren't killing it but we were doing well and it was profitable but it was a lot of work you know between getting more product to the distributor and getting more product to amazon and somebody returning them and an occasional error here and so long story short it just really wasn't fulfilling it wasn't really doing what we intended for it to do so i'm not saying it's gone forever we will probably reopen a store at some point when the time is right with more products um, but what are the lessons that I learned? Well, the lessons that I learned were that having a store, while it's a great idea and a, well, again, was profitable and remains profitable, wasn't consistent with my why. My why is really to help people through content and through education and through inspiration and through motivation. And while these sheets do an operational mechanical duty and they do it faster and cheaper and save money. And so like, yes, they help people, it's not as interactive, there's no dialogue, I'm not getting feedback, um, I'm not seeing growth and progression, and it just wasn't really resonating the needle with me. Um, so that's my personal why. From a business perspective, and any of you that are in Amazon, maybe what you could learn from this, and I've learned through this was, you know, sheets are heavy, and so therefore shipping was expensive. And when we shipped this to clients, the shipping was, I think exorbitant. I mean, we were only passing on our costs. We weren't making any money on the shipping, but nonetheless, the shipping was expensive. And a lot of people would abandon the cart or people would buy the sheets and they'd feel kind of like, eh, you know, on Amazon Prime, I get it for free, which is why we were doing Fulfilled by Amazon and on Amazon Prime and it was free shipping and then our margins went down. Will I open up another store? Almost certainly. Will it include sheets? Quite probably, I still have the relationship. Um, but I'd like to have more SKUs, I'd like to be ready for it, I'd like to do a lot more in terms of this channel and helping more people. And once my why is more fulfilled on that area, maybe I can turn my attention to products and shipping and all of that. But I think this is a really valuable lesson, I don't regret a thing, I made a lot of friends along the way, I think I made some really happy customers, and that's all cool. But at the end of the day, 
my time, my energy, my money, my resourcefulness. I have to focus it on my why, and that's basically helping you guys grow your business and grow your entrepreneurial self. And that's why this story might resonate with some of you who are thinking about Amazon or thinking about Shopify or already there and maybe you should close it or maybe you should scale or expand. So if I've helped you in any of your entrepreneurial endeavors or helped to think through this, then I feel like I've done my job. And in the meantime, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe and leave your comments. Are you currently doing Shopify or Amazon? What products? What products do you think we could sell if we were to start a store again in the future? What demands do you guys have as Airbnb hosts? We'll put it aside, we'll put it somewhere, and someday it may come true. That's the way you do business. Thank you very much, have a great day, and I appreciate your time.